Hello, in this video we're going to look at the nth order statistic from a uniform zero to theta distribution and derive some of its properties. So spe specifically we want to show that it converges in probability to theta and that this quantity here converges in distribution to an exponential distribution. So if we let x1, x2, you know, dot 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 be independent identically distributed uniform random variables and the uniform distribution goes from zero to theta so the distribution the density function is this and all xi must be between zero and theta you know for all i uh, xn is be the nth order statistic so if we take a sample of size n and order them this is going to be the largest and we want to show that that converges in probability to theta as n increases. So let's jump right in. And, and actually, the way we're going to prove this is that the distribution, the CDF of this, behaves like a CDF of a constant random variable. With uh, the random variable takes on theta with probability 1. And then convergence and distribution imply to a constant implies convergence and probability. So let's look at that. So the CDF for our uniform distribution is this. And then this helps us with the nth order statistic. And so this is n times the CDF of our original n minus 1 times the density of our original which is right there so anyway we're not going to derive that um, and then we want the CDF of this function so we, we take f of n and evaluate it from 0 to say some value y and um, the thetas can be pulled out front the n's out front and then we need to evaluate this and the antiderivative of this is x to the nth over n, and the n's cancel. And then we evaluate it from y and 0, and we get this. Okay. So now this is the CDF. And it, one note here is that y is always between 0 and theta. So this number is between 0 and 1. And... Any number that's raised, you know, if you keep raising this, this gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and, and ultimately it limits to zero. Unless theta, is, or unless y is theta, then it's one, and it, and then one to a number of, you know, raised to any power, just one. So let's let's look at what's going on here. So here's the CDF of the nth order statistic, and when when n is one is it's basically a straight line from you know from zero to theta and then one everywhere else it's two then that's a quadratic and it's three it's a cubic and the four it's this and you can kind of see that as n goes to infinity you know we all of this gets closer and closer to zero so the next one is down here and then eventually you know in limit these are all zero except for when it's theta and it's one and that behaves like some random variable say w that that, that is this that's zero before theta and then one at theta and beyond and so but this is a a uh, cdf characteristic of a pdf that has only you know the random variable w only takes on one value theta with probability one so so what we showed is the nth order statistic converges in distribution to some function here well and you can rewrite that as the nth order statistic converges to w this random variable but w is always equal to theta so it's a constant and convergence in distribution to a constant implies convergence in distribution to probability. And that was in one of my earlier videos. We proved that. So there it is. That's the proof. Now let's, let's look at what this distribution converges to. So we want to let yn 
be this quantity here. Now as a reminder, the, the density for x, the nth order statistic, is this. So now what we need to do is back solve for xn, and we get this. Take the derivative of this with respect to yn, we get minus this. So then the density of yn is you plug in um, this quantity wherever there's an xn, which is what this is. Um, So this should be to the n minus 1. So you can factor the n's out front, and that's what this is. So we just plug in this quantity for here, and it's raised to the n minus 1. Then we have to take it times the absolute value of the Jacobian. And then um, I bring in n minus 1 of these to here, because you know, it's raised to the n minus 1, and we get this quantity. Um, and you'll see why I write it like this. You could put it down below temporarily, but ultimately I think you'll see it better like this. So, since this is the, the density for yn, let's look at the CDF function of it. So we want to evaluate it from 0 to, say, yn. Um, and notice that the range of this, yn, goes from zero when that's theta to you know ultimately to n times theta so from zero to n theta is the range of y n so but let's look at the cdf and uh with a u substitution th then this integrates to this function here and so we're not really going to do that in this video so uh, yn goes from n0 to n theta. So now this is the CDF of, of yn, which is this quantity here. And now we want to let n go to infinity. So if we look at that, you know, and we, we just restate it, and then this is this. And as n goes to infinity, this piece here is, is that the famous quantity of E. So th this right here limits to whatever's in here. You know, goes from, you know, in, you know, N is here and N is there. And it limits to uh, 1 minus and then E. Well, if this, this right here is the CDF of some random variable that is an exponential distribution. So that tells us that this quantity right here limits to an exponential distribution with parameter 1 over theta. And that's what we wanted to show. Um, but the really cool part about this example is we didn't use the law of large numbers to prove convergence and probability. And we didn't use the central limit theorem to prove convergence and distribution. So, anyway, it's, I just think it's a neat example and hope you enjoyed it. I sure did. Please like it and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.